Amen. So it is indeed, indeed my honor to present uh, an award to Ms. Julia Poire, one of our top students at SIPA, at the School of International and Public Affairs. Uh, she will graduate next week with her master's degree. She has uh, been selected uh, in a very competitive program at the United Nations University to do some compelling research uh, before she departs and returns uh, to France. So, uh, Juliette, congratulations. Dear Mrs. Denis Lones, dear Dr. Anwarers, and dear Bernard Favreau, ladies and gentlemen, I am deeply honored and very pleased to have been selected as the 2015 laureate for the Jérôme Lohes Scholarship. I would like to especially thank you, Mrs. Denis Lohes, for your support and trust in me. I would also like to thank my parents, and I'm very happy that my mother is here with me tonight. I would also like to thank Philip, a friend of my parents, who lives here and has been like a true father to me in New York. Receiving this scholarship has been an extraordinary opportunity for me to get financial support for my studies, but also to get to know you, the name, and the board of the foundation and its network of fellows. Thanks to you, I had the chance to meet and to be introduced to Com and Annabelle, two previous laureates who now work at the World Bank in Washington. The Jérôme Lohes Foundation has, once again, proved what New York has meant to me since I'm living here. A new home full of inspiring and high achieving personalities from which to seek advice and support for my ideas and projects. Being a student at Columbia gave me the unique opportunity to be interacting with extraordinary professors, top global thinkers, and decision makers. I also have met friends with highly talented students whose cultural backgrounds and experience have been extremely enriching. Arguing with them and learning from their experience taught me as much as the books surrounding us. I know the years to come will be the ones where decisive career choices will be made. My experience in the United States comes right at this key moment and offers me the best environment to fulfill my dreams and achieve my raison d'être. I am very aware of my chance to be living in New York a fast running place, triggering young people like me towards innovation and leadership. The Jérôme Lohes Foundation has further opened me the doors to a network of people that will give momentum and strength to my ambitions. Now that I have completed my studies at Columbia, I started working for the research department of the United Nations. That way, I hope to be contributing to finding solutions to international peace, security, and global development. I would like again to offer my sincerest gratitude to the Jérôme Lohes Foundation for embodying the humanist ideals of solidarity and international cooperation. I would like myself to become a symbol of these ideals, and I wish to give back to the society the way you do. I'm very proud to be part of this family now, so thank you very much. Next, we will hear from Antoine Desir, who will present to 2015 Loez scholar, Ms. Barbara Crepon, who has pursued a dual degree between Epita and Stevens Institute of Technology. Ms. Desar, Mr. Desar is a 2012 Loez scholar and a dual degree graduate of Columbia University, Ecole Polytechnique. He is currently a PhD candidate in operational research in the Columbia University Department of Mathematics. Thank you for the introduction. Um, I'm very happy to be here with you tonight. Thank you, Denis, for the invitation. And it is with great pleasure and honor that I'm going to introduce Barbara for this one of this year uh, recipient of the Jérôme Lohes. She chose to come to the United States because she admires the American values of individual liberty and egalitarianism. And I think she made uh, a great choice by coming to New York, both because I hope she'll be able to enjoy uh, New York great diversity, and also I'm sure she'll get tons of opportunity from the vibrant tech side. I, I wish you all the best in the future, and congratulations on winning this uh, scholarship. And please welcome, uh, join me in welcoming Barbara.
to be honest with you and I came completely unprepared, so I have this page to present to you and uh, I am quite bad at this exercise anyway. Uh, I just want to thank you all for being here tonight and especially you Dave, for uh, this amazing opportunity. Um, but this, this was a great experience so far. I made a lot of, a lot of uh, friends for all of the culture um, and it was truly, truly amazing. Um, that's it. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, Thank you. This evening we will also feature a virtual guest from France. One of the 2015 Loez scholars, Mr. Solomon El Sheikh, could not be with us in person this evening as he says he's completing his final exams at Sciences Po in Paris. However, he has provided us with taped remarks from what appears to be a very scenic location on the Mediterranean. So for those who don't know me, my name is Suleiman El Sheikh, I come from Egypt, and I'm a sophomore in the dual B program between Columbia University and Sciences Po. I'm currently in my second and last year here at Sciences Po in France, and starting September 2015, I will be in New York City for two years at Columbia University. As you can all imagine, I was really honored to have been selected as one of the five recipients of the Jérôme Loez 9-11 Foundation Scholarship this year. A true honor to be associated with this foundation that for me represents many, many great things. One of these to which I'm particularly sensitive is the promotion of tolerance. Tolerance that, that I view as the positive effort to understand the other with all the differences that might exist in terms of convictions, beliefs, or ideas. The effort to understand the other and to look at these differences more as an enrichment rather than a handicap. Nevertheless, in my view, the Jérôme Loez Foundation goes beyond mere theory because, in effect, I have never seen tolerance. However, I have seen tolerant people, and tolerance only exists through tolerant people. Therefore, by giving young people the opportunity to travel and study abroad, to experience different cultures, to broaden their perspectives, and eventually attempt to bridge these different cultures, by doing so, the Jérôme Loez Foundation definitely contributes to create a better world.